Lift him up, November 1. Jesus, our Advocate. And if any man sin, we have an Advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous. Jesus is our Advocate, our High Priest, our Intercessor. Our position is like that of the Israelites on the Day of Atonement. When the high priest entered the most holy place, representing the place where our high priest is now pleading, and sprinkled the atoning blood upon the mercy seat, no propitiatory sacrifices were offered without. While the priest was interceding with God, every heart was to be bowed in contrition, pleading for the pardon of transgression. Type met antitype in the death of Christ the Lamb slain for the sins of the world. Our great High Priest has made the only sacrifice that is of any value in our salvation. When He offered Himself on the cross, a perfect atonement was made for the sins of the people. We are now standing in the outer court, waiting and looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. No sacrifices are to be offered without, for the great high priest is performing his work in the most holy place. In his intercession as our advocate, Christ needs no man's virtue, no man's intercession. He is the only sin-bearer, the only sin-offering. Prayer and confession are to be offered only to him who has entered once for all into the most holy place. He will save to the uttermost all who come to him in faith. He ever liveth to make intercession for us. The mightiest created intellect cannot comprehend God. Words from the most eloquent tongue fail to describe him. Men have only one advocate, one intercessor, who is able to pardon transgression. Shall not our hearts swell with gratitude to him who gave Jesus to be the propitiation for our sins? Think deeply upon the love that the Father has manifested in our behalf, the love that he has expressed for us. We cannot measure this love. For measurement there is none. Can we measure infinity? We can only point to Calvary, to the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. No middleman comes between the sinner and Christ. Christ himself is our advocate. All that the Father is to his Son, he is to those whom his Son in humanity represented. In every line of his work, Christ acted as a representative of the Father. He lived as our substitute and surety. He labored as he would have his followers labor, unselfishly appreciating the value of every human being for whom he suffered and died. 